Hello. Hey, y'all. We're Matt and Jen, and we've got a huge box of all new Japanese snacks, not from a subscription box, but purchased right here in the USA. We're going to try them all right now. These Japanese snacks are not from a subscription service like some of our other videos, but were actually purchased at a store by one of our most loyal viewers. You know who you are. And sent to us as part of a birthday present. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Meaning, we've got all of these to try and a birthday-themed ratings game. But, let's get snacking. First comes first. What do we have here? We have... Green bag in Japanese. <laughs> wow. Okay. So Google Translate says this is soft candy matcha flavor. Ooh. I like yay, matcha. Yay. 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 Oh, it's like little white candy. Purse candy. Yeah, like purse candy. Japanese purse candy. Let's see, oh. It's a lovely uh, shade of like baby diaper green. Yeah. It has like this like film on it that doesn't come off. Well, uh, we're going to assume that that's edible. Let's, yeah, let's, let's give let's... it a boop. <laughs> oh, it's definitely rice pepper. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's earthy. It is earthy. Wow. That is like a like mouthful of dirt. High quality dirt, have you. But, wow. Yeah, matcha, matcha flavor things, I think sometimes it can be just like a very light matcha. Mm -hmm. And that's okay-ish, but... This is not a like light subtle matcha. This is like a just like pow, like a shotgun to yeah, the face. Yeah, the taste of <laughs> the taste of tea really Woo! comes through, and mm. um, not a lot of sweet. Oh, not a lot of sugar in mm. that tea. It is not sweet, and the like the rice wrapper paper on the outside was uh, was not a good addition <laughs> to the texture. <laughs> wow. So rating time. As I just celebrated my 29th birthday, yay, almost 30. Uh, we decided to do a birthday-themed rating scheme with great, awesome, delicious, that's going to be happy birthday for just okay, you know, it's it's okay, it's not so great. That's going to be uh, kind of over the hill. You know, you're still <laughs> alive, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's all downhill from here. And then uh, if it's just lousy, terrible, you know, that's going to be uh, a clown show. Uh, this, uh, this... I think it's uh, over the hill. I yeah. think if you like matcha... Yeah, if you like, like matcha, it. but I don't like matcha. And I so, do. I really think it's uh, edible. I think this is uh, this might be an over-the-hill clown show. I'll give it a 50-50 <laughs> on that, but uh, moving on. All right, next we have... Oh, oh she's cookies. cute. Yeah. It's like a little uh, like happy, hungry girl, and it looks like maybe some kind of like animal crackers. It has little, uh, little animal pictures on the side, but uh, let's give it a whirl here. It has a neat little... Oh. oh, it has like uh, like an activity inside that uh, is all in Japanese, so we're going to not figure that out right now. But... Oh, yeah, there you go. That's Japanese. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, they're cute. It. They're, they do litter. This one says penguin. Oh. That's so cute. They're like uh, animal crackers I got with, two. with chocolate on it. That's technically one. Yeah, and they're both zebra, so Yay. we're going to go with mm, that. They smell good. Mm, yeah. Mmm. These are the animal crackers I'm talking about. USA animal crackers. You just step your game up. Oh Japan, gosh. you're doing it right. These are so mm. good. Yeah. They're I'm so just crunchy. noticing though that the the animals are not actual the animals. They're the little girl wearing that costume. So and this that's is really like, cute. It's, it's cute, but it's kind of <laughs> like it's not very educational. But absolutely delicious. It's mm -hmm. nice, like a like a nice little like almost like a. a higher quality animal cracker with some nice milk chocolate on the outside that's pretty delicious that's a happy birthday Definitely. all day long mm -hmm. all right that was uh, gross and then sweet so let's uh what do we got that's savory let's like oh we know these guys yeah, yeah. i like these a whole lot you do. and these look like really high quality and they're uh non-fried no msg so. we like that you probably won't have a like hypertensive stroke while you're eating them since there's no MSG, but MSG can be delicious. Don't get me wrong. Ooh, they smell like seaweed. Mm, rice crackers. Definitely rice cracker handmade. Hopefully washed hands with seaweed. And this is not uh, probably edible. They look good. Okay. Boop. 
Yep. Mm. Rice crackers with seaweed. I would say that these are higher quality, though. They're really nice. Nice and crispy, nice and mm -hmm. crunchy. Sometimes you get them and they're, they're kind of chewy or they're not all that crunchy or they just fall apart. And then the nori is not overpowering because I'm not the hugest fan of seaweed. Yeah. But it's just like a nice little pop of flavor on these guys. These are so really, good. Really, really good. Yeah. And there's like a little like hint of spice kind of in the finish. Like in the back, yeah. Really, really nice. I like that a whole lot. That is a happy birthday on these seaweed rice crackers. Next, <laughs> let's see what we got. We've got... This! Black, black, black. black. Whatever this is. Wow, so it looks like a little, like, roll of candy. Is it licorice? It's probably licorice. Usually when oh. something is, like, black, like, colored, it's it's often licorice. But we're going to keep an open mind, even though neither of us like black licorice. I do like red licorice, though, even though I hear that that's not really licorice. I don't think but, it is. Oh, well, I don't care. <laughs> but this is uh, also reminiscent of something that we got in the militaries in our, like, MRE rations called Charms. That oh, was yeah, this, yeah. like, shitty candy that you just, like, threw into the woods whenever you got it. But we're going to say this is probably better. Probably couldn't be any worse. Oh, oh it's, it's gum! gum! Oh, well, I never would have guessed that in a million years. Black, black is gum. <laughs> Look at that. All right, well. Wow. Black, black. Oh, it smells very minty. Minty. Mm, yeah. Pleasant surprise. And then watch it be licorice anyway. I know. It is, oh, but it is kind of black. It's like, uh, like gray, gray maybe. Yeah. Like, boop. Now I got to chew a piece of gum. <laughs> I don't mind black, black at all. Very minty. It's very minty. It has like a cooling effect, mm -hmm. almost like a, like a cough drop. That's exactly what it's like. So I think it's like uh, maybe like menthol or something in there, mm -hmm. but maybe feel like cooled off. I guess you know in Asia, it, it gets pretty darn hot and humid. So you see a lot of people that are have a cough drop in the mouth. They use those little Vicks inhalers to try to cool off. So black black might be uh, might be on that same wavelength. Woo. I would like to be in that uh, like marketing meeting where they're naming this gum though, black black. And it was just like, well, how about black? I'm like, no, that's kind of lame. It was like black black. Oh, that's fire. Yeah. yeah. All right. I black don't mind this good. at all. Yeah, I mean, especially with summer coming up, it'd be nice to know that you got a stick of black black in your pocket. And it's hot, and you just popped it in. And like, wow, Arctic freeze. Yeah. yeah, really clearing those sinuses. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, birthday party. We're moving on, even though all I can taste right now is black okay. black, but. What do we have here? We have ooh, ooh. baked wheat cake maple. I already that love it. That sounds delicious. Pastry roll, a soft and pleasantly sweet bread. Not sweet bread, but oh, a is, sweet bread. It is soft, too. Each baked with the natural goodness of brown rice yeast. You know, I was just thinking the other day, we don't get enough of that brown rice yeast goodness. Mmm. It smells oh, like it smells a freaking like... Krispy Kreme. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to peel this part off, though. Wow, that is, that is so pretty. Good. Look at that thing. Mmm. Mm, it's so soft. Yeah. It's literally like a hamburger bun, but so much better. I would say I don't really taste a lot of maple. Uh -huh. I more smell the maple. But it's not all dried out. Again, with the snack boxes and things that we've done in the past... All these other countries are bringing out these nice, like, baked items that are nice and moist and delicious. And the USA doesn't have anything like that. Like a nice piece of cake or a baked wheat cake pastry bun maple. Mmm. And I have to say, I, I do like the rice yeast. The rice yeast, the brown rice yeast goodness is uh, is definitely good. good. Yes, but uh, a, a birthday party. But I still taste a little bit of black black. We've got little cup O. Uh, apparently cost one dollar. Miso Shiro Soybean Paste Soup. Mm. Well, you know, wow. I was just laying awake all night last night hoping that I would find this in this box. Uh, but, uh, wow. Let's see. Hopefully it has some instructions. It's got some, like a little cup. And inside, oh, this is really kind of neat. You might have to take a closer look at this. Here we go. It looks like it's like mostly a Japanese, but it definitely says soybean paste soup. And ingredients, soybean, water, rice, salt, lactose... Consuming this product can equate, expose you to chemicals including lead and lead compounds. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good to know. <laughs> wow, good times. But uh, we're going to dive in anyway just for the experience. But oh, look at that. It's got uh, some miso shiro soybean paste. And uh, I'll leave it to the Japanese with their technology. It's got like a little, 
like little spoon guy in here. That's fantabulous. But it takes uh, 250 cc's of boiling water, which we just happen to have right here. Yay! We've got hot and fresh instant miso shiro soybean paste soup, possibly with lead. It hmm. smells delicious. It does. We'll get a closer sniff. Okay. I think it smells good. Okay, okay. <laughs> it smells, it, it has like a little like mushroom kind of. Yeah, but I like uh, that. Mushroom is fungus, so. Yeah. Yeah. You like fungus? Okay, yeah. well, we're going to try that. Ooh. Is it hot? Yes. What do you think there? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That lead really comes yeah. through. Yeah, the lead, uh, the, I think the lead really just adds to the flavor kind of profile of it but uh, oh wow it's not bad it's kind of reminiscent of the uh, soup that you get when you go to hibachi yes um it's just kind of uh, instead of cupo noodles this is a uh, cupo salty water yeah so that's pretty much what it is but it is super salty it's really not bad it's very salty and it does have uh, some nice little chives in it and it's kind of uh, uh it does smell a little bit like mushroom so if you're a mushroom connoisseur that's uh, gonna be a birthday party for you but yeah. uh, for me i'm gonna go with uh, just kind of an over the hill because i don't know really i like soup anyway but. yeah i i agree i'm gonna say over the hill for this one too. however for the spoon collapsible spoon technology guy i'm gonna give that a birthday party all day long that was very savory what do we have here that is sweet <laughs> yeah. let's see we have Chocolate stick wafers. That all sounds good. I like yeah. all of those things. I always uh, remarked that uh, pretty much all of our boxes had something wafer in them, yes. too. So, good job. <laughs> oh, this is almost like a like little display. Oh, neat. Yeah, it's all like individually wrapped in there. I'll there. take one. Ah, look at that. It's kind of like a, like a weird Kit Kat almost. Yeah. It weighs almost nothing. Smells good. Boop. Mmm. Mm. It really does taste like those wafer cookies. It's just kind of in a different shape. It Lots have of that, chocolate. Well, it doesn't have that like like waffle pattern mm. on the outside. It's just kind of round. But that, uh, I think, I think it tastes good. It has, uh, yeah, it does have a nice amount of chocolate inside. It's not just like that little like ridiculous fake ribbon of chocolate. And it's not very sweet. Surprisingly, it has a ton of chocolate, but it's not very sweet. Yeah, it's not super like overwhelmingly sweet. It's pretty darn good, mm -hmm. is what it is. Good job, Japan chocolate wafer stick people makers. All right. That's a birthday party all day long. All right. What else do we got? We've got Haichu. Haichu. We know Haichu. Yay. We do know Haichu. Aww. We first had Haichu when we were in Bangkok. And we actually brought a ton back with us because it was the first time we'd ever had it and we fell in love with it. And then, a few weeks later, I saw it stocked on the shelves at Wawa. At a gas station. Yeah. Yep. So we used our, like, very valuable luggage space to bring a whole bunch of this back from Thailand, thinking that we would never have, a, have it again and it was at a gas station. Yes. But we love Haichu. And I don't think I've seen these flavors before. We've got dragon fruit and acai and kiwi. I think wow. I'll do kiwi. You have kiwi and I will have dragon fruit with chia seeds. Get your fiber. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, yeah. and this has little seeds in it, Ooh, too. it smells good. Boop. Haichu! Mm. We love haichu. I love mm. a haichu. That's really and good. These are remarkably, like, fresh. Like, soft. And mm -hmm. You know, when you get, like, a like a now and later a chewy candy and it's old. And it's just really hard. This is perfectly soft. Mm hmm. Mm. I like that a lot. Dragon fruit. Good. How is kiwi? It's very good. Very kiwi. Mm. You know, Haichu, I don't think I've had a Haichu yet that's not a birthday party. And these are right up there with the rest. Birthday party. Next, we have Pico Crunch Milk Candy. I do like crunchy milk. Oh. Wow, this is interesting. Pico Sweet. This, is, this the is the same little girl. It is. What's going on here? All right, this is totally the same little girl. We're, we're not falling for this. But I don't think this has anything to do with, like, animal crackers or anything. Let's try some crunchy milk. I feel like crunchy milk is kind of like beyond like chunky milk. That's probably not a good thing. I hope this isn't like sour milk flavored. It doesn't smell bad. Oh, well, let's unwrap it. Pico Crunch or Milk not. Candy with titanium wrapper. <laughs> Boop. Oh, it's definitely crunchy. I was curious if it would be like a hard candy. 
But you can kind of crunch right into it, but it is really crunchy. Really milky. It's almost like a little like ball of sugar. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't, I don't feel like it tastes like milk though. Maybe sweetened condensed milk or like coffee creamer? Yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. It's very, very sweet. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. Little uh, Animal Cracker Girl, you did pretty good. I, mean, I like I, those. I, I like it. I, I definitely think it tastes like sweetened condensed milk. And, uh, you know, it's good. Mm -hmm. Definitely sweet. Yes, very but, sweet. Uh, you know, what uh, What kind of birthday party isn't without some sweet? Mm. So what do we got here? We've got Calby Shrimp Chips. Wow. Oh, with wasabi. There's a big pile of wasabi on there. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to be optimistic, but I'm going to say probably not going to like it. I don't like wasabi. I don't like uh, like the jalapeno Cheetos. I think it tastes like Windex and uh, a lot of that spicy, the flaming Hot stuff. That's just not for me. I'm going to stick my face in here and probably regret it. Ooh. Wow, it just smells like the ocean and wasabi. Mmm. Ooh, that's intense. Uh, ooh, just kind of fills up the room. I'm going to uh, definitely need some black black after this. <laughs> Woo! Why'd you smell it again? Uh, I just couldn't help myself. Boop! She said. Oh. Wow! Woo! Wasabi! Mm. <laughs> I'm just like, pow, right? Oh mm. gosh, they're so good, though. They're, well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> they're, they're not bad. They're bad. I expected them to just be like total ass flavor, but uh, they're not bad. Uh, oh, there's a whole bunch of other ones, though, from the uh, the folks at Calbee have also uh, got hot garlic, yuzu, black pepper, wasabi, Ooh. and classic original. I think I would like hot and garlic. And we landed on uh, shrimp chips. <laughs> Maybe next time uh, we receive a box from a loyal viewer, it will uh, be one of those other flavors. But, uh, yeah, I uh, I will say, I, I'll agree, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised they're uh, they're not that bad. They're actually doable. I'm, I'm going to go for another. And the wasabi does not linger. It, you get that punch and then it's and then yeah. it's gone. It's like a little bit of spice. Oh, so There's good. There's a little twang of like fishiness. But mostly they're just kind of like little salty like little yeah, straws. Yeah, they're huh? really good. I, uh, I, yeah, I'm going to go uh, an over the hill, but, but uh, a young over the hill. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm happy birthday all the way. All right. What do we got next? We've got Milk. weird melty blend. Okay. I feel like I can bite it looks, them in or something. Yeah, no, it says green tea artificially oh. flavored. So we got matcha again in a very fascinating box that says open here. Ooh. Oh, melty blend. It's, a, it's literally like a little display that you might put That's like, really a, cute. like a little checkout counter. I was like, here you go. Here you go. I'm going to put it on my desk. Thank you. Come again. But if melty blend sucks, I guess you probably wouldn't come again. But... Oh, it's like a little cube. Isn't that cute? Oh, it smells very chocolatey. It's like yeah. uh, like semi-sweet chocolate, like yeah, chocolate what it's... chip. Yep. It's very strange. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Well, I don't like it's what it all like. wrong. <laughs> oh, I wanted to like it because it's like chocolate and matcha, and I thought maybe it would be just like light matcha, but no, it is a disaster. It's like a like handful of old chocolate chips when you like pull them out of the cabinet. And you're like, well, it's like a little taste of chocolate. You throw some in your mouth, and it's just like wax. Oh. Uh. And dirt. And tea. Yeah, the, and like yeah, like the dirty tea, like a like bag of tea that's dipped in some old ass chocolate, and you just threw it in your mouth. Woo. Oh. That's intense. It is but. intense. Like this, if you put this at your checkout counter, you're, you're going out of business today. Ugh. <laughs> that is not good. Uh, I'm very sorry, but. But if you uh, love you tea, know. I think it's right up your alley again. No, 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 I... no, no. No, Melty Blend, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, you're a clown show. Oh, Melty Blend. Black, black. black Take black. me away. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's got to be something better in here. We've got blueberry. Ooh. Yay. Also oh. looks like charms, though. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if this is gum. <laughs> mm. Let's see. It's, it is. Oh, it's gum again. Yay. Oh, I wish I had known that. Maybe we could have just saved it to the end, but uh, it's pretty. Yeah. Blueberry gum. When was the last time you had blueberry gum? I don't know, but I, it's pretty, today's oh, it's the day. Very aromatic. Oh, God. It smells it so smells good. It smells really, really good. It smells very fruity. Boop. Mmm. That's good. Wow. Mm -hmm. It might have just been that uh, melty green garbage was so bad. I'm glad that's a good But blueberry is good. Mm. I like that. I like that a lot. Mmm. Blueberry gum. 
I fly to Japan tomorrow just to get some more of this. It's almost like Fruit Stripe, but Fruit Stripe would have already lost its flavor. And this is just like exploding with flavor still. That's delish. Blueberry gum from Lottie. Birthday party. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we have next? We have... So, sent to us from a viewer. Somebody that loves you. Somebody that loves us. <laughs> Milkita Banana Shake Candy. So, watches the channel and knows that <laughs> I hate banana, but still sends us a giant bag of banana candy. Okay. This, I, lo I love this banana. This will not be forgotten. <laughs> I love all things banana. Let's just open this up. There, you have one, and I'll have one. Mm hmm. Milkita. I think I had a Milkita before, and they were like milk-flavored candy, a lot like uh, the crunchy milk that we had earlier. Yeah. But this is uh, got banana that flavor. lovely, just, mm. you know, smells like banana. Boop. Oh, they're chewy. They're very chewy. Oh, they're so good. Sucks. Ugh. Like a banana Laffy Taffy. Exactly. The worst freaking candy that ever was. Ugh. Mm, these are so good. Garbage. 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 Banana pudding. No. Mm. No, banana pudding is actually edible. It's... Banana milkshake? Ugh. I'm done. No, no, clown show. Ugh. These are happy birthday for me. Always. Barf. Ugh. Thank Moving you. Moving on. All right, what do we got next? We've got all in Japanese, some kind of red bag of stuff. Wow. It is really all in Japanese. Contains wheat, fish. Okay, <laughs> that's it. Wheat and fish. So this is a uh, wheat fish, rice cracker. Okay, there's a little bit of that English up top. Rice cracker, wheat fish. Okay. Hmm. Fish. Oh. Yeah, it's interesting. Big. It's large too. <laughs> I was yeah, like, can we just share one? Gonna dive right in. It's very interesting. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like this, like weird, like cup shape. It's very crispy. It looks good though. It's like yeah. a really pleasing color. Like here we go. Boop. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. Not bad at all. Yeah. It's like a rice cracker. These are good. Mm. I like these. I don't taste any fish. Mm -mm. Kind of happy about that, too. Wow. Not bad at all. No. It really kind of tastes like a giant version of the uh, the seaweed rice cracker with no seaweed. But, uh, I, yeah, I like these. I, I would uh, enjoy a bag of these. Mm -hmm. Wheat fish cracker. That's pretty darn tasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Birthday party. Okay, we have powered through. We have one left. We have Meiji Black Chocolate. Maybe that's, is that from the people that brought you Black Black? Black Chocolate? Black Chocolate. <laughs> wow. So maybe it's like, it's uh, like so dark that it's black. Maybe. It's like 110% cacao. Cacao. Wow. Let's see here. Nope. Oh, it looks pretty much like chocolate. So I'm not sure why it's black chocolate. <laughs> Oh, it smells a little bit dark. Oh, it's yeah. It's kind of like dark chocolate. There you go. You have a square, and I will have a square. Boop. Yeah. I would say it's kind of dark chocolate. Kind of like a special dark. Yeah. It's not bad at all. It's it's actually a pretty decent, uh, like, kind of semi-sweet chocolate more than mm -hmm. anything. I wouldn't really necessarily say it's like a real dark chocolate. Because it does get a little bit melty, almost like milk chocolate. Yeah. And that's usually my beef with uh, dark chocolate is it's not melty. It's kind of waxy. But this is, this is pretty uh, this good. Is this is kind of like a, a nice balance. little uh, balance between the two. I, mm -hmm. I like that. I will call this a a birthday party. Like to wrap it up, uh, really, really nice. Uh, again, these were all bought here at a, a Japanese store uh, near Dallas, and uh, I think they're awesome. I think it's awesome that you could go to a store in the U.S. and, and buy these. So please do go find the Asian market in the uh, the city near you and try some of these awesome snacks. We'll be hunting around closer to us looking for what we can get here locally, but uh, uh, more to come on that. We had a great time. Thank you so much for sending these to us. Uh, it was definitely a birthday party. Uh, if you've enjoyed our video, please do nail that like button. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, make sure you nail that subscribe button and hit the bell for our freshest content. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye, y'all!